Hello everyone and welcome to my new let's play. What game is it, would you might ask? Well, we will see right now. It's a game by Square Enix, so you know it's good. By Don't Nod Entertainment, I don't know them very well. The game is Life is Strange. Because it is indeed strange. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Um, I sort of did start playing it, just for a little bit to see how it was, and it was it was pretty cool. I played for like the first like 10, 20 minutes of it only, and I thought maybe we should do a, a blind let's play. I've never done one before. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I have no idea like in terms of the story. I don't have no the, but, but the gameplay or anything like that. But it looks like a really cool game and I'm excited for it and to give you a, like a genuine reaction I suppose so let's not waste any more time let's just start a new game yes let's start a new game Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice the consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past present and future Choose wisely. So this is like a more like a very narrative kind of game, which I think is pretty cool. I do really like these games. Your choices do matter. Controller, so it's kind of kind of weird for me to do. Um, usually, when I like to play uh, a game, like a new game I've never played before, I do like to explore things around and, and talk to like a lot of people, talk to everyone, and see what, and just like do everything and anything when I get to like a new town, city, or village, you know, and like open up the game. I'm not sure this game will have that kind of thing, but yeah, I like to like examine and take like like this right here. I have like a typhoon, hurricane, typhoon kind of thing. And just yeah, and this I didn't see this last time. Look at what it is. The black, black one, black wall. Academy. You can make it. Black wall, black wall academy. Nineteen ten. Wow. Okay. That's a long time. I would imagine this is not in nineteen back in nineteen ten. It looks kind of modern. Holy shit! So surreal. Famously called film, film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, His I'm in class. Everything's up. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? 
Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at it. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. It looks pretty cool. Go back. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Uh, what is this? And any and any one of you could do that to me. Hey, stop, stop that. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. It's pretty cute. But I like it old school. She had a brilliant eye. Yeah. So, she could have taken I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. I have to admit. Really? I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I like the little pixel heart right there. It looks kind of cool. And I think she drew that camera, which is really cool too. This is like a little journal. Um, I guess I can read some of these. It's, I'm not sure if it pertains to the story or not, but uh, let's get like a little background would be good. Uh, July 10th, 2013. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is 2013. This is Blackwell Academy, kind of like the little banner that we saw right there next to the typhoon. We said it was like like 1910. Is there time? Is there like time travel in this in this game? Maybe. Doesn't look like the kind of game will have that, like in a story-based game. But whatever. If words could dance, this would be a rave. Even though I've never been to one. But who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I'd be so excited, so it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy the last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And it, and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and I can work, and I can work it, and a new laptop. Yes. Oh, and I have to keep on myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. So basically, she's really excited to be here, even though it, she kind of doesn't really. I mean, she did fall asleep during class, but uh, yeah, she's excited to be here. July 10th, August. Oh, girl. <laughs> you did not write much about it, did you? August 18th. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the, the smallest back in the town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I want to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are even still friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. The city was made for her. We would, pay, we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods. It seemed like Seattle was that fable faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Oh, couture. Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under Mark Jefferson. Insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will, all, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. Oh dear. <laughs> The deer with a monocle. Oh dear, okay. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I'd be looking for. Shit is crazy with a K here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. <laughs> mom and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught my mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. I never leave Seattle. 
So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes and then just raiding a thrift store to build up new max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an, an old max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat, some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. My first entry from my new dorm room, the nights before my day, the first day at Blackwell. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is on the boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine. I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I have planned a whole wall of photos. I did, not, I did meet some of my dorm mates. No, I suck at rem remembering the names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me, and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get Seattle into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Blackwell sucks ass. Okay, so it, was, it wasn't what she thought. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm not good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Ashley. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life. Her to be her own reality show. Okay. And there's like a few more pages. Should we read all this? Let's read the last one. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turn it into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scare movies yet. Soon Kate let me borrow The October Country by Ray Bradbury. Oh, I know that guy. Well, the author. That's, a, that's an author. I haven't read much about him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek, my geek cred before I even held my copy of Battle Royale. But he knows the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I, ro I, ro yeah, I wore a Hall Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club, Stroke Fest, Swimming Party, or is that Back Stroke Fest? You so punny, Max. <laughs> At least I'm trying to climb out my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks at Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on loop, you have all the time in the world. That's interesting. And we're here we have some, I guess some of the characters. We have Kate, who's being, I guess, picked on by the little paper. To Jefferson, what I think is our teacher. Hmm. Pretty cool. And Victoria's a little plane. Yeah, she's a little plane. Shush, I'm dreaming. And I told her, okay, yeah. Damn it, phone. Not, now's not the time. Episode one. So them like more than one episode, I suppose. Oh, wait, hold on, what's this? We take pictures? It's like... Huh. Okay. Cool. And we got text messages. Warren? Who's Warren? Hey Max. Hey man Max. Let's pull. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. Uh, there are more? Good coffee. No study. So Max is not answering any of his guys' messages at all. Kind of sad. It's our birthday. Since of post-war beat America, and there was honesty about the economic condition. I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. About this. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio, and I have my little camera bag as battered, but still kicking. Muse, and both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Uh, We've all seen. I do them love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You did. Okay. Now, contrast Frank Stark. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. It's your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as long as it's been around. Hmm. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I don't know. Why are you asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Mm. Very good, <laughs> Victoria. Me. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Is that, is that a computer? You can find out all about him in your textbook, huh. or even I there last time. online. And guys, don't forget the okay, deadline to submit a photo weird. in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, mm -hmm. and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> oh, now we can walk around. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. What's this? Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? Um, God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yes, you are. Printer. This right here. I, I did not see this last time. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Yeah, okay, I guess so. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I don't know who that is. Can I... I can't mess around with it, I guess. Okay. I'll talk to Katie. She's being picked on. So. Well, she was being picked on, but... Yeah, let's talk to her. Can we talk to her? Let's look at her first. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Aww. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Hope it didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Let's get some tea. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. <laughs> I have to go over homework. Oh. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Okay, and my other file. I did, I did not talk to her. All right, I, I didn't know she was even here yet. Like, here. Right, so talk Let's to talk or? later, Max. Oh, okay. Just one chance. Uh, what's, what's, what's this? Etched marks. What does it say? Huh. This might make a cool shot. 
I'm not sure what that says, but I'll take a picture of it. Amber forever? Who? What did I say? Amber who? I cannot... I cannot see that. Amber is somebody else. Who's sitting there? Whatever. Okay, Jefferson. Okay, Victoria. What do you think, Victoria? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Yeah, I don't see like those people kind of like that. Um, let's talk to you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Damn it, phone. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I don't have. To, I didn't have chance. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Uh, now I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young. The world is yours. Blah blah blah. Right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. Interesting. What kind of pictures do you have on here? Can I look at it? Yes, look at it. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh. Is this drawn or is that like an actual picture? Like someone took a picture of that. I need a controller for this because I cannot. It's hard to move around like this. What's this? Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Oh, this is forest. So are we gonna get, do we get to go there? Maybe? Ugh. This, there we go. Door open. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome to the cute. real world. It's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry Because Max wants everybody to see how she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking horrible. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant Like one of those. So she's like one of those people who just talk on the phone, but never actually uh, talk to people. I guess Stella. Stella is always deep in She didn't come to Blackwell for messing around. I guess. I guess so. Oh, what's going on here? Logan. Oh, oh, that ran into me. Rude. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Oh, that's where Vortex comes from. Too. I hope I, I, I like I love the fall. One of my favorite holidays. It looks like she's been Season. Months. Whatever. <laughs> oh, someone's missing. Rachel Amber. Wait a minute. 
Didn't we take a picture? Hold on. Is there a way to... Can I... Can I... No? Okay, well, no menu option, I guess. Gun free zone. Missing per person. Who are you? Who are you talking to? Trevor. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh well. I'm sure you can try. Uh, Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jock sucked up in the Vortex Club. Yep. There's Juliet in my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Oh, so that's your dorm person base. Thing. Is there anything else you need to know? No? What's on, on the floor? Is there another missing, missing person? I think so. Alright, bathroom, here we are. If you could, nobody can see my meltdown except for me. <laughs> Rachel Embers. Hmm. Now who would bother to write that crap? So clearly somebody doesn't like Amber. Rachel Amber. She's gone missing. Let's use a sink. Like, oh, look at that. Glasses and mustache. In a girl's bathroom. In a what Just looks relax. to me like a prestigious. Stop I have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Ooh. Can I picture? Let's take a picture. Let's look at it. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? I have no it doesn't idea. look like any kind I've ever seen before. It's a blue the butterfly. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Hmm. Wait, that's a guy in the girls' restroom. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk fitness. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What? What? 